Hi, this is Tim Donner with Liberty Nation TV. The Justice Department has finally admitted guilt in the targeting of conservative groups during the Obama administration, settling two class action suits for millions of dollars. And now the heat is on Lois Lerner, who oversaw the targeting as the official responsible for granting tax exempt status to nonprofit organizations, but she's never paid a price for it. We're joined by Lisa K. Donner, editorial director for Liberty Nation. And Lisa, you and I know an awful lot about this uh, because Liberty Nation's parent organization, One Generation Away, was among the groups that was targeted. The class action suit uh, involving us has been settled, but there isn't there still in sort of unrequited anger about uh, Lois Lerner, who's now enjoying a six-figure pension in retirement? Well, Tim, it is true that money doesn't always solve everything. And I think uh, not just our organization, but a lot of the groups out there uh, are pretty angry that uh, this happened in the United States, that the uh, IRS was used as a weapon, a political weapon against uh, people that uh, didn't fit into a certain uh, political mold. Uh, they were persecuted. Uh, they were shut down. And uh, finally, the government has come along under the Trump administration and said, yep, you were right and we were wrong. Are there indications that Attorney General Jeff Sessions will actually pursue Lois Lerner? Or is there a sense that the class action settlements have ended the matter? Well, I don't know what's in Jeff Sessions' mind, but I can tell you this. There are still people out there calling for Lois Lerner's head, and one of them is Tom Fitton at Judicial Watch. Uh, he is out there saying that uh, we can't just say, I'm sorry, uh, give the lawyers in the class action suit uh, $3.5 million and uh, say that's the end of it. We need to really think about how we can keep this from happening in the United States of America again. He's one person that's calling for it. There are other people on the Hill that are saying, you know, we need to open this up about Lois Lerner. What she did was never uh, fairly prosecuted. Right now, as you mentioned, she sits on a government income uh, a pension of uh, what's estimated over $50,000 and probably a well-appointed home in Bethesda, Maryland, and people are hopping mad about it. Now, Lisa, our organization went through a four-year ordeal after being targeted. The IRS claimed that they lost our initial application. Then they delayed our approval until six days after Barack Obama was reelected. Uh, and then they removed our exemption, claiming that they never received three different tax filings, which we did file. Isn't the residual question, though, in this sordid episode, how could this happen in America? Well, I think that's what Tom Fitton's saying. Um, not just how could this happen, but it darn well better not happen again. And um, right now, there really isn't anything in place. I mean, let's say another very left uh, organization, a uh, uh, president gets, gets uh, elected, and let's say um, he appoints his own attorney general and off we go again. I mean, you know, where does this stop? Something has got to be done because uh, in the end, it isn't really money. It isn't really the apology. It's that this could happen in the United States. And, you know, political uh, speech is very protected in this country. It's it's in the First Amendment of, to the Constitution. And the fact that all these organizations have been targeted, have been persecuted, and many shut down, uh, and many other, like ourselves, have had to defend ourselves to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars, does not bode well. Uh, clearly, something else needs to be done here. People are not mollified. That is Lisa K. Donner. No relation. I'm just kidding. I'm Tim Donner, and this is LNTV.